I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and I went to multiplexes my whole life. I had no idea that movies were originally shown in palaces, basically. The way we consume entertainment always changes, and it'll, always, it'll keep changing. We are really good at preserving film history and talking about the history of the motion picture industry in the United States, but we don't actually really preserve the places that these films were shown in. As the project grew, uh, theaters actually started reaching out to me and saying, hey, can you please come take photos of this place? A lot of actually the places that I photographed have been or are in the process of being restored. And I've been asked to come back to those and to reshoot them. I hope they feel a sense of sort of sadness and loss. I like to look at them and I feel a sense of nostalgia for something that I've actually never really experienced. And there's just something to seeing a film in such a large space with two to three thousand people that you really can't get nowadays at a normal theater. They were designed to be palaces and they treated you like royalty. And we really don't have that anymore. A lot of these theaters closed about 30 or 40 years ago, every town had at least one, and every city had 10s, 20s, 30 of them on their main street. They all had theater districts, and some cities had multiple theater districts. The majority of them are lost. So you had theaters looking to put more than one screen up because they needed to show different movies because they couldn't afford to have a bomb. You had televisions, which were taken away from their profits. So they built too many movie theaters, is basically what happened, but they were making money hand over fist. They had incentive to do it. Just because it's closed and just because it's it's been, the roof is leaking and plaster is everywhere and it, it's full of cobwebs, it doesn't mean that it can't be brought back and it can't be a place where people enjoy movies or concerts or, you know, whatever, again.